You guys, you make a mixtape for somebody, you know? It's usually for somebody you love. Well, I made a mixtape for someone I hate, okay? Uh, I'm gonna play the, f the first song on the mix, and I recommend this. You always put a song on the mix that, that she loves, okay? And so that's what I did for the first, the first song. Uh, she loves this song, so this is it. You guys know this? Cheese song uh, by Train. So I put this song, and you know, she's listening to the song, and she's like, oh, no hard feelings. You know, it's just listening to it. You know, it gets in all that. The thing about 10 seconds into the song, it skips. Uh, and then the second song, okay, I put on, always put on the song that you used to play when you had sex. Because <laughs> I always had a song, right, guys? Don't you have a, like, one of your favorite songs? You play? So I put on the song that we, I used to play, I personally, uh, when we had sex, because it would remind her of how amazing it was. Um, anyway, this, this, it's this song. It's just this Star Wars theme. Um, it's a great song to have sex, guys, seriously. Because like the whole lightsaber thing, you just kind of like in your head, you're like, oh, use the force, and it just helps you like, kind of go longer if you're thinking of some old guys like barking at you, telling you like to hang in there. And um, anyway, you can cut it off. So she's like, oh, probably broke her to pieces hearing that again. Um, and then the next song on the mix uh, is, is a song that uh, I put on the mix. It's it was being a sarcastic, she knows I'm sarcastic. So the next song on the mix I put on because she has like, the, my ex-girlfriend has like the most amazing blue eyes. So I put this song on. <laughs> okay, stop it. Um, and then the biggest thing about making a mix for something you don't like is to put songs on there that, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, uh, like a really good love song, what does that say? It says, I love you. But I feel like a bad love song, like a cheat, like says, I don't love you. So the next couple songs I put on, next songs, that I only put a few more on this particular mix to play for you, but... Uh, they're in that vein where they're bad love songs. The first one is, a, is an Elton John song, and you guys know this song, and I always thought it was very strange because it's just a poorly written song. Play the, the track. If I was a sculptor, right? <laughs> but then again, no. All right, stop it. <laughs> you ever picked up on that lyric in the song? He corrects himself right in the middle of the song. <laughs> but then again, no. Why don't you just pick something you think you could be and then sing about that? <laughs> You know what I mean? Instead of making me listen to the rough draft of your song, you know what I mean? Like, it's like polish up the notes before you bring it into the studio, you know? And then sing about something that you think, that, like a florist or something. And you're like, yeah, I could be that. And then get on with the song. So I put that one on, because that's a bad love song, in my opinion. Um, next song I put on, it's like, this is the, um, oh, jeez. Um, it's like my twin. Um, uh, the, the next song to me, it's like one of the worst. My friend of mine told me the other day, he thought this was a great love song. This is a crappy love song. Uh, you play the first clip from it. If you like me, get in the rain. Okay, stop it. You guys know this song, right? The Pina Colada song? It's a, it, it was like, some people think that this is a good love song. It's not. Do you know what it's about? It's about two people who are, <laughs> who are sick of each other and they're in a relationship. So they place personal ads, right? To find somebody else to hook up with, basically to cheat on each other. And then they go to this meeting spot and they find out that the, it's the other person. And they're like, ha <laughs> and they laugh it off and they go for a pina colada. <laughs> Bullshit, That's to me, if that happened to me, that'd be awkward, that'd be the like, most awkward moment of my life. I'd be like, oh, uh, <laughs> Shit, that was me, I, uh. And then, okay, so he places his ad and it's got all his criteria of what kind of girl he wants. Okay, so play the next line. If you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain. Okay, okay, so that's, okay. If you're not into yoga, he wants somebody like a dim-witted girl with like, who's off her zen center. That's who he's looking, that's the kind of girl. And this is who else he's looking for. This is another, more criteria. Listen, next, next track. Okay, stop it. That's, my, that's one of my favorite lines of this song. Okay, first of all, because it just insinuates that the opposite of health food, champagne. Right? 
It's like, yeah, you want to eat healthy tonight? Nah, nah, I got a bottle of Mums. I'm good. We're good. Just, I'm, that's, I drink champagne. Go eat healthy. I'm going to drink the champagne. So this guy's like, yeah, I want a girl who's not into yoga, who's got half a brain and likes chugging pina coladas and champagne. I'm like, I'm looking for like a fat alcoholic. It's like, what? Why? Why are you looking for this person? Like, why do you need to place a personal ad? I mean, you could find that anywhere. Um, okay, so then the next line, he goes, um, <laughs> okay, if you like make it like, like he's so adamant about that, if you like, like, like there's no other time. There's like, no, there's like midnight. Like I've never, like I don't have a time. I don't know guys, you have a time. Like I've never been like hooking up with like a beautiful girl. She's like, I want you. I'm like, yeah, no, it's about 10.30. You don't know, wait till I've mid, like no, like bring it on. I'm like, now. Okay, next line. Okay, de okay, stop it. I got to meet you by tomorrow noon. He's desperate. Wow, that's sexy, you know? And this is, this is so funny. Where does he want to meet her T by tomorrow noon? Do you guys remember where he wants to meet her? At noon on like a Tuesday? Okay, stop it. At a bar called O'Malley's? You want, to, you want this girl to meet you at O'Malley's? Like, like at noon on a Tuesday? You know who hangs out at... O'Malley's at noon on a retired cops that are waiting to die and pedophiles hang out at O'Malley's. Like, why do you want to meet her there? Like, like, yeah, she, and she goes to O'Malley's. And I guarantee you, if you ask O'Malley, the guy behind the bar for two pina coladas, he's gonna punch you in the face. He's gonna be like, get out of here. Like, like, this is O'Malley's. What do you think I have pina coladas here? So anyway, that, I had to get that off my, because it really bugs me. That's not, uh, not a good love song. And then the last th song that I put on the mix that you should put on a mix uh, for somebody you don't like, um, you, everyone has to put this song on the mix because the first seven notes of this song can ruin anybody's day, and these are the seven notes. Thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs>